Elsevier has dedicated 2023 to be the year of the zebra. As a reminder, a zebra in the context of medicine is someone with a rare disorder, which is defined as affecting fewer than 200,000 people in the US or less than one in 2,000 people in Europe. For the past year, we've been on an ambitious effort to educate millions of patients, family members, healthcare professionals, researchers, students, and the general public about these zebras. And we did just that. We kicked off the Year of the Zebra with a Kilimanjaro climb organized and led by Osmosis founder and CEO Shiv Gaglani. The expedition featured the participation of two individuals with rare disorders. Additionally, we forged meaningful partnerships with organizations like YouTube, whose CEO actively promoted awareness for this impactful initiative. The Year of the Zebra has raised significant global awareness of rare diseases which has helped patients with their family members understand their diagnoses and find both healthcare and hope, trained current and future healthcare workers to spot these zebras earlier to reduce the diagnostic odyssey that rare disease patients go through, inspire researchers and healthcare professionals to dedicate their careers to finding cures and providing care to the rare disease community, and motivate the general public to get involved by donating time, money, and other resources to specific rare disease groups, or the community as a whole. During the Year of the Zebra, we highlighted one rare disorder each week and 52 over the year. Each weekly Year of the Zebra newsletter included a popular Osmosis-style video overview of the condition, a real patient story that brings it to life, and a link to the patient advocacy group where you can learn more and get involved, with a monthly reach of over 1 million and growing. The Year of the Zebra videos also enjoyed significant success on the Osmosis YouTube channel. Osmosis boasts an impressive following, with over 3 million subscribers, and a viewership of tens of millions. Along with a global community consisting of 4 million registered learners. We've already produced more than 300 rare disease videos, and crafted an additional 52 captivating Year of the Zebra episodes. These efforts have resulted in an impressive 5 million views on YouTube. It's worth mentioning that our YouTube channel proudly holds its place as one of the top ranking platforms for medical education content, and our zebra-themed content has resonated profoundly with audiences worldwide. We also launched Rare, Open Research in Rare Diseases, which is an impactful open access journal with over 80 submitted articles to date. This international, peer-reviewed publication focuses on research with direct clinical and psychological relevance for rare disease patients, covering clinical care, diagnosis, pharmacology, public policies, and ethics. It offers a concise, multidisciplinary platform for researchers, healthcare professionals, policymakers, and the rare disease community. In tandem with our journal launch, we created the Rare Disease Healthcare Hub, which is now one of the largest sources in the world for linking valuable rare disease information to anyone who visits the site. Within the hub, you can find invaluable resources and learning material on the rare disease-specific content we've released. From the day we introduced the Year of the Zebra initiative until now, the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive internally and externally. Our personal connection to this initiative has always been a driving force, and we've been inspired by over 100 Relics, Elsevier, and Osmosis teammates who have affiliations to zebra conditions. Our colleagues have shared how the initiative helped them better explain their zebra diseases, and viewers have said that our content makes rare diseases easier to understand. Additionally, we highlighted these personal stories through our I am a zebra video, meaning I am someone with a rare disease, or I know a zebra, meaning I know someone with a rare disease, video testimonial series. I am a zebra. I know a zebra. I am a zebra. I am a zebra. The disease is really not well studied or well understood compared to many other diseases, which is the plight of many zebra conditions. The pediatric dermatologist was even shocked herself by the diagnosis. We're sharing knowledge with extended communities to help people understand, and that's fantastic. I feel seen and it feels great. Zebras will always matter to us for a few very important reasons. First, if we want to build a truly inclusive and equitable healthcare system, we need to take care of our entire society, including patients who for centuries were dismissed by the medical establishment as anomalies. Secondly, these patients and their family members are incredibly tenacious, dedicated, and resourceful, and serve as models for highly engaged patients. For example, reaching individuals like Jennifer, who fearlessly opened her heart to share the profound journey of her son, Dawson. I know a zebra. 
In January 2023, Dawson was diagnosed with Copra Emile Gordon syndrome, also known as CAGS, a rare genetic syndrome currently devoid of any known treatment. Throughout the journey toward this diagnosis, Jennifer transformed into an expert in her son's medical condition. Her unwavering commitment and determination are truly inspiring. Third, research on rare disorders has advanced science and led to the discovery of treatments that have saved millions of lives. Furthermore, 2023 marks the 40th anniversary of the Orphan Drug Act, or ODA. This landmark legislation has served as a pivotal catalyst, igniting the development of hundreds of treatments and therapies specifically tailored for rare diseases. Remarkably, over half of these innovations have received approval in just the past decade, underscoring the incredible progress achieved in the realm of rare disease therapeutics. From all of us on the Year of the Zebra team, we express our heartfelt gratitude for your unwavering passion, commitment, and support. We couldn't have done it without you. And while we've made significant strides, we acknowledge there's still much ground to cover in the rare disease space. We encourage you to continue to show your stripes for the remainder of the year and beyond. Our hope is that the next time medical professionals hear hoofbeats, they'll consider both zebras and horses. For in that distinction lies the potential to transform lives and rewrite the story of rare diseases. Looking ahead, we'll continue to build upon the momentum of the year of the zebra, propelling us into what will become the decade of the zebra. To learn more, visit www.osmosis.org zebra.